What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're taking a look at the Golden Boys. What a name man, what a name. <laughs> it's the free nominating contract players. We've got Nunes, Camavinga, we've also got Dorami as a four star that we'll take a look at. We're going to keep this short and sweet and of course we'll have the player review, the player guide as well over on eFootballDB. So we're going to start with the four stars and I do think that the pick of them is going to be Dorami. If you are okay with Thai possession being a little bit low. When I say a little bit low, it's very low. So he does have really nice player skills, as you know here. Double touch, flip flap, and soul control is going to give you that all-important ball roll if you're a good dribbler. That will kind of overcompensate a lot of his lack of dribbling stats. He also has riding, rising shot, gamesmanship, and super sub. So I do like this card a lot, and this is the build that we've gone for here when we go over to eFootballDB and see that this card, actually, I'll just hide my webcam there, is going to be a bit of a rocket, right? We don't even need to go that high because we're going to be getting a plus two to every single stat that you see here. We are going to be getting a plus two to it. Now, we will actually probably stick to that with the balance to go to 90, the dribbling at 90, and the acceleration at 99, uh, speed at 92. Every stat that you see here is going to be getting a plus two if you have a manager that is going to actually give you the plus two boost, such as Ten Hag, such as Guardiola, such as Valbuena, such as Zeitler. Any of these guys are going to give it to you. So for me, I do think that for a four star, he is definitely worth it. If you have a lot of four stars, you can see there, we have five four stars there. So we can just buy him here. It's not a big deal. We have so many four stars and you continue to get a lot of four stars. So I do like him. He's not probably going to make it into my main squad, but as a Road to Glory account, he's definitely a good option for you guys if you're looking for just pure pure pace and power okay now the rest of the cars in this pack i will show you builds from but i don't think that they're even worth talking about too much to be honest with you lads now if you do have a favorite player if you have a player like this that you know from brighton if you are looking to get a player um this guy does have ball roll as well he's got flip flap double touch and soul control he also has scissors faint which will give you a nice couple of variations to his skill moves true passing is always nice his card isn't too bad you are going to have to have a couple of variations with this card depending on your tactics and formation but this is probably the safest build to go for as you see here so it's three into shooting ten into passing and dribbling nine into dexterity and four into lower body again it's not going to be a card that really kind of like um you know holds up the balance at 78 is really low his finishing is only 73 with the boost that's going to be 80 to balance and, and 75 to finishing it's an okay card i mean he doesn't get the tight possession into the 90s either or the low pass into the 90s so as an attacking midfielder it is a bit of a concern now obviously he's down as well as a creative playmaker which they've kind of changed with v3.3 i am working on a video for that for uh, the difference between them we also have pablo torre this guy is an attacking midfielder as well he's down as a creative as well and this is his build so eight into passing and dribbling 12 into dexterity and seven into lower body so i'm going through these quite quickly lads so apologies you can always pause the video and go back pablo torre i mean he's down as a creative as i said but he doesn't have that many player skills he's okay i mean he does a generic face as well which will put off a lot of people that like having real you know scans in the game or race real face builds in the game he's an okay player i mean i'm not going to get too excited about a player like this even on my road to glory because attacking midfielders you're just it's just completely oversaturated with attacking midfielders now we also have not not the forest morillo I actually watched this guy play the other night against Arsenal. He looks pretty decent, man. He made one or two mistakes. Uh, but he is a young lad. He's only 21 years of age. He's from Brazil. And he does have blocker and interception off the rip. He's 184 centimeters. Missing a couple of player skills. As, you know, usually these nominated contracts, they're never usually the finished article. So you would need to give him acrobatic clearance, I think. You'd also need to give him maybe fighting spirit. It always helps on a CB. And I do feel like that his stats are a little bit lacking when you look at his build here. That's the build that we've gone for. And that's the build we recommend. 12 into defending that's going to give you 90 aggression with the manager boost 80 speed and of course the rest of the stats will look after themselves we also have the goalkeeper uh Karnasechi. is that how you pronounce him lads Karnasechi or Karnasechi? Karnasechi. anyway the atlantic keeper he's down as your goalkeeper and we've gone one into aerial strength just to get his jump up we've gone 11 into goalkeeper one five into goalkeeper two and 10 into goalkeeper three so I guess you are going to get 90 awareness and 90 reflexes, um, which isn't bad, to be honest, for a goalkeeper that you're going to be getting for free. Now, the big thing is, if this was a four-star goalkeeper, it would be worth it. But down as a five-star, I don't think it is, personally speaking. We also have Danny Vivian, who's down as a center-back, and I think for a five-star as well, this guy is just kind of like, I just don't know, man, why... 
um, they would make a card like this. You know, he, he's not tall enough to be your long kind of, or your aerial kind of bombardment type guy or to deal with those threats when people bring on Haaland or Collar or any of those big guys, Ronaldo, that are good in the air, Forlan, Adriano, any of those. Uh, but he does have heading, but he doesn't have acrobatic clearance. He doesn't have area superiority, which at the moment online is a big deal, you know, especially if you're just trying to clear the ball from kind of like interceptions and rebounds in the air that kind of float into the air or bobble up into the air even a header back to the keeper or headering it out wide, it does make a difference to have that acrobatic clearance, which is very important. Now, the build that we've gone for actually gives him uh, defensive awareness and aggression into the 90s with speed at 85. So that's kind of the meta at the moment. If you can get your center back speed at 85 and one or two of your defending stats, preferably three or four, obviously, at about the 90, that's where it is really at at the moment. So that kind of brings us to our top picks. I don't want to drag this out any more than it is, but I still want to give people, you know, players the chance that if you have signed one of these, you've got a really good build that will just work online. That's basically what it's all about with these cards. You can play with any card offline. That's not really a concern. But these cards online, you do, you know, you do have a couple of problems with them if you are going to be training them. So that's why it's important. But this Kamavinga is definitely 100% the pick of the pack. I mean, anybody can see this, it, that he's probably the best there because he's got very solid stats across the board. But he does have a couple of weaknesses. So the first weakness that I would say that he has is apart from one touch pass and weighted, he doesn't really have any, how would I say it, going forward kind of like on the ball um, skills, right? He does have interception and sliding tackle and that kind of steers where you need to, to, to kind of push this card. Because I definitely thought at the start, as an orchestrator, you have him more attacking, but you do need to have him more defensive. So we've actually put this build on him here, uh, four into dribbling, or four into passing, three into dribbling, seven into dexterity, 10 into lower body, four into aerial, and 11 into defending. Now, some people might say that it's a little bit too much on the defending, but to be honest with you, lads, what you're taking out of defending here, if you are actually to take this back down a good bit here, and maybe pop it into passing or something, you're not really gaining. You're, you know, you can have 90 passing, but I would definitely much rather prefer to have him a little bit more defensively solid because he still has 85 speed and acceleration and 91 stamina with the manager boost, as well as having 85 ball control that will go to 87 and 85 low pass with that manager boost. So I do think that he's a very, very nice player to have, but I think he's more of a luxury in midfield to bring him on if you're, you know, if you have a good squad, you can bring him on as a, as a sub or else you can start him and take him off when his energy is kind of depleted if you're just chasing the ball around a lot manually. But for me, I think that there's a lot better box to box there's uh, there in the game that you don't need to worry about anything else and he can just literally get the ball and you don't need to pass too much. You know, he is a nice card, but for a five star, yeah, he's definitely the pick. And then we have Liverpool's Darwin Nunes. He's been on fire lately um, and I do feel like that this is a good card that is completely hampered by one key stat which has hampered these Nunes' card ever since his first beastly card, hidden gem card, was released way back in eFootball 2022. Double touch, long range curler, first time shot, doesn't have one touch pass as a goal poacher, that's okay. His passing skills, his tight possession and balance stats, lads, are absolutely woeful, man. Woeful. Now look, it is going to be an okay card if you want to score with him and you want him to be your target man up front. He is quite good in the air, even though his stats aren't great. You know, he's got only 73 heading and 78 physical contact, which will go to 80 and 75, respectively. But his offensive awareness is where we've gone with this card because we want him to just actually get in the box as much as possible and just be a bit of a menace as a goal poacher. 88 offensive awareness, 95 acceleration. Even though we've popped 12 into balance, we still don't get it to, nine, or to past 80. So that's going to be a huge issue for him. As well as that, he's only going to have 83 finishing, which with the manager boost is going to go to 85. If you have 10 hag, that's going to be 85 speed and 97 acceleration, which is pretty decent, but you can't really run with this guy. I mean, his ball control is okay, but his dribbling and tight possession... Mm, I mean, his tight possession and balance are just woeful on this card. He kind of reminds me of Haaland. So I don't know what I recommend him as a five-star. We have already got Kamavinga and Arami, as you see here. Let me know if you guys would like to see an in-game gameplay uh, breakdown of Kamavinga, because I do think he's quite an interesting card. But other than that, lads, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying these videos. And we will talk to you guys in a little bit. Peace.